garbage is good. Hey, Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today, we're going to be doing a tutorial on the garbage mat effect using Power Director 16. Let me know in the comment section below if you find the garbage mat effect useful or if you think it's just trash. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Today, we're playing with garbage. To do this effect, I'm going to use a plugin called New Blue Effects Video Essential 6. I will have a link to that plugin in the video description if you're interested in getting it. Now, right now I have two clips on the timeline. One is of the beautiful sky, some clouds and things like that. And then the other one is of a young lady on the computer listening to music or whatever. And I wanna make it look like her head is floating in the clouds. So in order to do that, I'm gonna play with some garbage. So, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go up here to the effects room. Now I'm going to go down to New Blue Video Essentials 6. And here you'll see a lot of different tools that they have in this plugin. Uh, one of my favorite ones is the New Blue Chroma Key Pro. It's an awesome chroma keyer. Um, there's color replacement. There's all kind of good stuff in here. But today we're focusing on garbage. Garbage mat. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse over this and I'm going to drag it down on top of the clip. Now... What we want to do next is go ahead and change the settings of the effect to match where we want because right now it's going to show all of this and just have this bit of the clouds around it and I don't want that. I just want to get around her head. So I'm going to click on effect. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to change this blocky thing to a curvy thing. So I'm going to affect the curve here. And I'm gonna type in a setting because I pretty much know how I want the curve to look. And that's pretty good for now. And now the next thing I wanna do is click on show mask. If I click on show mask, then it shows just what's going to be visible from this clip, which is everything inside of this oval. So that helps me concentrate all my efforts on making sure that I know exactly what's visible and exactly what will not be visible. If I wanted to do it the other way around, I could click on invert and now all of this around here is going to be visible all right but i don't want that to be inverted i want it just like this so the next thing that i'm going to do is start to change the shape so i'm going to start off with top left and you can do this however you want at this point and i'm going to place my cursor over this little red dot and I'm going to, and a red dot basically signifies the left top corner of what's visible. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse over this and I'm going to drag this all the way up here as close to the head as I want it. And that's pretty good there. If I wanted to be able to see like the safe zones, I could go ahead and enable them here to make sure that whatever I'm showing is gonna be inside. But since I'm breaking this down and really making it small, I know everything's gonna be visible, that I want to be visible anyway. So I'm gonna click on okay. And now I'm gonna do the bottom left. I'm doing bottom left next because I want to make a straight line, a straight vertical line here to show that, okay, I'm pretty much where I need to be. So I think that's pretty good there. I'm gonna click on okay. Now I'm gonna do the top right and do the same thing that I did with the left side. Start off with the top right. Click okay. 
And then we're going to do bottom right. I want to make some adjustments here. So bear with me, please. Thank you. All right, that's pretty good. So what I want to do next is I want to keyframe this because if I move my playhead across here and I scrub this timeline, you can tell that she moves outside of the little box and I need to make sure that the box stays centered on her the best that I can. So what I need to do is add keyframes to make sure that it sticks with her. So I want to make sure that the playhead is all the way over to the left at the beginning. And I'm going to add a keyframe for each position. Top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. And now I'm going to scrub the timeline here to see when I feel like I need to move the box over so that it stays centered. I think this is pretty good right here. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Move the box over by using the position buttons. Now, as you can see where the playhead is, it created a keyframe for each position that I changed. So what that means is that from this position where it was centered, it's going to try to make sure that it gets right back to the center at this position. And that makes it stay centered between those two points. Now, I want to go ahead and play forward again and see if I can find another spot where I think I need to get this recentered. And I'll do right here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Move everything over. So that looks pretty good there. So let's go ahead and scrub the timeline again. See if we need to make any additional adjustments. And I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll ride with that. So the last thing that we need to do is make this not look so sharp. Because if I take off this mask, it just looks like she's in a big block just sitting up there. We want it to blend better. So one of the things that we could do is we could add feather and feather the outside of the garbage mat to make it blend into the background a little bit better. So I'm going to type in an amount here and hit enter. So I'm done with this. I can go ahead and press on the X. And now she looks benevolent and heavenly floating over the clouds.
All right, Power Director Peeps, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, LV Nightcrawler. LV Nightcrawler makes YouTube videos about Vegas and playing poker. So, if you're into Las Vegas and the nightlife that comes with it, or you just love playing poker, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like LV Nightcrawler did, make sure that you head over to the video description and complete our shout out request form. If you got a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.